ISIS killers responsible for the most lethal terrorist attack ever in France abandoned plans for a similar atrocity in Britain because it has a more advanced secret service and better surveillance. The revelation comes as 20 alleged members of the cell that murdered 130 people in Paris on November 15, 2015 are judged in the city. Some face multiple life sentences if found guilty following a nine-month criminal trial, which begins on Wednesday. Among them is Mohamed Abrini, a 36-year-old Belgian national, who has also said to have been involved in attacks in Brussels in March 2016, in which 32 died. During pre-trial interviews with prosecutors, Abrini admitted traveling to Britain in July 2015, just four months before the Paris massacre, and taking pictures inside buildings that attract large crowds. They included Old Trafford, the home stadium of Manchester United Football Club, and the Arndale Shopping Centre. Abrini had just come back from the Islamic State stronghold in Raqqa, Syria, and was also collecting cash in the UK. But he insisted that there were no plans for an attack in London, Birmingham, or Manchester because Britain has a more advanced secret service than the French. He also said that better surveillance in the UK made a Paris-style commando operation far less likely to succeed, according to prosecution papers. Beyond Manchester, Abrini also travelled to Birmingham, where he took pictures of the city's Bullring and Grand Central, the largest shopping centre in Britain. Despite Abrini's claims, Manchester was in fact hit by a devastating Islamist terrorist attack in May 2017. Suicide bomber Salman Abedi, 22, killed 23 people and wounded more than 1,000, when he detonated a bomb at the Manchester Arena following a concert by the American singer Ariana Grande. Abrini is among 20 men linked to the Paris terror attacks who will be in the dock for the biggest criminal trial ever to be held in France. Judges are hoping that Abrini will be cross-examined in the trial, in which his old friend, Salah Abdeslam, 31, is also being tried. Abdeslam is the only surviving member of the 10 suicide bomber ISIS cell that carried out the Friday 13 attacks. He was meant to blow himself up outside the Stade de France, where France were playing Germany in a football international attended by 80,000 people including President François Hollande. Instead, he threw his explosives belt in a bin while others in the cell carried out attacks on cafes and restaurants in Paris, as well as the Bataclan concert venue, where 90 were murdered. Abdeslam fled and after a four-month manhunt was arrested at a flat in Brussels following a shootout. later, suicide bombers from the same cell hit Brussels airport and the city's underground train network.
Of the 20 involved in the Paris process, 6 will be tried in their absence because 5 are presumed dead in Iraq or Syria, and 1 is in prison in Turkey. Their victims in Paris included Englishman Nick Alexander, 31, from Wheelay, Essex, who died in the Batak law. Matt Ukiris, a lawyer for 21 Batak law survivors from the UK and Ireland, said the trial would be a search for the truth, 